Our whole history is based on taking services to the people where they are. And our first librarian, Anne Haddon, one of the things she did was actually ride on Buro, take trains, take the car. She went all the way up and down the coast delivering materials. And then actually 1954 was when we had our first bookmobile. And since then, we've been expanding our services. It was in 1978 that we got the second bookmobile and started doing services north and south. And now this bookmobile, the major milestone for us is we're actually taking computers to people where they are. So they can come on board and using wireless access actually do everything you can do in a branch. And that's been pretty amazing. excited about this bookmobile because it's going to be able to travel all around Monterey County. Monterey County Free Library serves 3,000 miles of county and there are so many people that are in remote areas that aren't able to get to their library and we'll be able to take the bookmobile with the books and computers. Well, we're launching today the Bookmobile. This is going to be serving South County. It's something that's exciting. It's fascinating, as you can see, for young and old to be able to access library books, uh, different material. It'll be serving some of the outlying areas uh, throughout Monterey County, specifically down in, in uh, the San Ardo, San Lucas area, Lockwood, but also some of the camps like in the uh, Camp Fora or Soledad area. This bookmobile in particular is like a traveling branch library. We have everything available on this bookmobile that you would have if you went to a regular library branch. We have books, computers, access to everything that you could possibly need, and we take it out to the people that live in the, the um, more rural areas of the community. We go out to Lockwood, to Parkfield, um, all over the place, and those people out there, you know, they'd have to drive 30, 40, 50 miles to get to a library, so this is very convenient for them. And it's very helpful that it goes out. They have programming they can take their children to. We work with the schools uh, so that we kind of supplement the school libraries in those areas. And um, just generally kind of make everybody feel like they're, they're connected to their library. We have uh, the three computers. This one's uh, there's enough room for wheelchair access over here. 
This is a printer that does, they can do color and black and white printing, which actually all of our branches don't have color printers. So in a way, they're ahead of some of the branches also on the bookmobile here. And we have our books, including items by Beverly Cleary, our donor, we're really happy. And Beverly Cleary actually helped us get our bookmobile in 78 also. Many years ago, Beverly Cleary was very good friends with Dallas Schaefer, who was the county librarian who created this foundation. As you may know, she was a writer of children's books, and as a child, I read a lot of Beverly Cleary books growing up. Beverly has been a long time uh, supporter of our foundation. Uh, we just think she's an amazing person. We have children's items and there's more of the adult items. We have Spanish materials for children and adults. The reference materials over here and then we can actually we have a computer over here where we can check out and check in materials. So it's exactly like the services they would get in a branch. If they want something and it's not available on the bookmobile they can place a request either themselves by going online or they can talk to the staff and the staff will place a hold for them and the item will be brought as soon as it's available on the next trip. very similar to what we do in the libraries. Everybody needs to have a library card. Library cards are free and we're happy to to make a library card for anyone who's interested. And there is uh, checkout equipment right here on the bookmobile that will be used to keep track of the borrowers and what they have borrowed. And the bookmobile will be making a stop frequently in each neighborhood. So once people are finished with their materials, they can bring them back and return them on the bookmobile. If they happen to be near a Monterey County Free Library, and there are 17 of our libraries, they can drop the books off there as well, and they can drop them at any other public library in Monterey County. The great thing about this bookmobile is it'll be going to places where there may be uh, people who haven't thought about uh, bookmobiles or libraries and they can come and just uh, be curious and check it out and what they're going to find are resources for them, librarians who can really um, open up worlds to them. Uh, maybe it's going to be books and maybe it's going to be computers, but um, it's just so important in a county that's as rural as ours is, people can't necessarily get to the physical library locations that we have. So having the ability to take all those resources um, out into the communities is just really, really important. And I'm so pleased to see uh, this bookmobile with uh, just it's so uh, so modern, so new, so beautiful, and it's um, really going to be able to bring so much into these communities. Really pleased to see this hit the road. We mostly see what the you know interests of you know patrons are. Um, sometimes they'll ask for um, specific titles or just in general a subject, you know, like cooking. Um, so that's how we decide, you know, uh, what kind of books we should have more. 
countless young people as well as adults are going to be able to utilize these bookmobiles who might not otherwise have access to libraries in their communities. What are the other uh, beneficial aspects of this bookmobile is the access to technology. There will be computers available here for our young people or adults that need access to that. So we'll be bringing it out to outlying areas in Monterey County. Again, the libraries are keeping up with changes, with new trends, and this bookmobile uh, is a testament to uh, being able to have technology but use it as part of what the libraries uh, provide to our community. You know, we recently started a stop in Chualar and it's been so popular. The kids are there waiting for us. They come on board. It's a lot of fun. It's a very happy atmosphere and uh, people are just excited to see us coming. When I started here three years ago, the vehicles were having many, many breakdowns and it was quite obvious we did need to get a new vehicle, at least one. We really could use another one besides this one. Um, but we began to look for many and ways we could make that happen. And so this wonderful grant from the U.S. Department of Agriculture uh, came on our radar and it was through their Rural Development Office which uh, was designed for any kind of a service reaching out to rural areas of the county. So this seemed like the perfect idea to go for a grant with them and um, it was because we won it based on our demographics, the fact that the vehicle serves the rural areas of South County. We wanted the art to represent all of the areas we cover in uh, Monterey County. And so our group sat together and we decided we wanted to have the show 101 because that's a lot of our libraries are along 101 or at least show highways because that's what we do. We drive along the highways and we made a list of 71 different elements we felt we had to cover. And then our artist, which is Cindy Davis, who's a local artist. She's done murals in our King City Library and our Greenfield Library. She's just amazing. She took all of those 71 elements and also one of the requests of one of our on-staff artists, Carol Shields, which is that we make postcards. And she put all of those elements together and created this wonderful graphic. And then when it was ready, she said to us, you know, you forgot a 72nd element, which is the acorn woodpecker. And she included that also. So it, we feel it, cover, it really represents our county very well. So for example, you have the otters. You can see Bixby Bridge here. We have our quail, California golden poppy, the missions, we have our cowboys, we have lupin, you can see there's, there's the pinnacles, we have our uh, monarch butterflies, Castroville, the community was so pleased to see the uh, artichokes here, we have our golfing, and then let's see, you have uh, broccoli, lettuce, the fields, strawberries, we have the Elkhorn Slough. You can see the uh, power plant also <laughs> included in there. And uh, you know, we've got our coastal birds. So I think we did a really good job covering all of the elements in our county. Certainly for me as a former elementary school teacher, I used to teach uh, fifth and sixth grade and also kindergarten, I've known the importance of reading. And certainly we all know reading is fundamental, so we want to get our communities, our young children, engaged in reading and understanding the, uh, the beauty of, of the written word and to be able to read as much as they can. This certainly will have a direct beneficial impact as they get older, as they understand the importance of developing good reading skills and frankly just to enjoy uh, the wonder of reading and, and to be able to travel all over the world. Even out of this bookmobile they will have access to those places that you know we, we can all read about and enjoy uh, throughout our lives. We have a schedule. It is posted on our website MontereyCountyFreeLibraries.org they can also call our administrative office for information and that number is 831-883-7573 and any of our libraries also have flyers with information and there will be a schedule posted on the bookmobile so people will be able to uh, know when to expect the bookmobile to return to their area. All these books means a lot to the future for the young kids of the mind and I think that's really awesome about this bubble meal that making the library go to the people who want to become more than so, so just because um, be, be more than be more than um, the people they are to become great men like the presidents. <laughs>